Hi, this is Dave with CamRanger. We've got a quick video here today to show you the latest CamRanger 2 app setting, Auto Toggle Live View. Now we have our CamRanger 2 hooked up to a Nikon Z6, but you could also be using a Sony, Canon, or Fujifilm camera. And we're connected to an iPad, and in addition to iOS, we also support Android or Mac and Windows computers. Now it may be a common workflow that you're shooting with live view on, you want to be able to see your scene, and then as you capture an image, have the image automatically display, and then after some amount of time, switch back to live view automatically, so you can set up your next shot. Previously, you'd have to actually toggle live view back on after you view the image. With this new setting, live view can automatically toggle back on. So you access that from within the settings, controls and workflow, and then down at the bottom, there's this auto toggle live view. You can leave it off or set it to a five second or 10 second interval. I'll set it to five seconds. We also will go ahead and set auto view images to on so that when we capture an image, it automatically displays. And let's see how that works. So here we have obviously in live view, I'll go ahead and capture an image. Now we have auto view turned on, so it automatically shows the image. And then after five seconds, it'll revert back to live view. So let's see that again. Capture an image, image displays. I'll change the scene so it's more obvious. And then after five seconds, live view turns back on. So that can be a very useful feature without having to be touching and pressing and toggling back and forth. And live view comes back on. And of course, you can turn this off or simply turn off live view before you capture and then it won't automatically toggle back on. It only toggles back on if live view was on before you viewed the image. Well, that was a quick video just to show you the latest setting. Hopefully it's useful to some of you. Uh, and thanks for watching. Bye.